Good afternoon. Folks. Good afternoon. A historic day in many ways, Jim, the opening of the tunnel. I'll tell you what, it's amazing. They're opening that channel tunnel and coming into work this morning, they closed the Black Wall Tunnel. Now, <laughs> yeah. would you believe that? <laughs> why the, and why they closed that? I think they closed it because they don't want the French into Essex. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty certain <laughs> of that. I mean, we've had the Danes, the Vikings, the Germans, and now we don't want the French in. So <laughs> fill it in. Fill it in, lads. <laughs> Now, Jim, before we go, I have to congratulate you on your award, the TV Times Sports Personality. Yes, thank you very much, Sam. In the second uh, year that, you, that you've won this year award. Second year running, yeah, three And they're uh, looking actually very smart, very debonair. Well, do you know that suit cost me a tenner? <laughs> I, I had to splash out on that. <laughs> that's Jan oh. Harvey of Howard's Way, <laughs> yeah. which was very nice to get off because that's yeah. one of my favourite programmes, if not my most favourite yeah. programme. Well, all the lads in here, when they saw that, mm. thought, isn't he looking smart? But they also said... Change. Didn't uh, yeah, but talking about changes, they were saying how you've changed over the years. Ah, oh, well, you know, have I? Going, going, back, to the, going back to the early days no, when, uh, I don't think when you were playing. I mean, we've got you here when you were playing at Wembley. Stop relying on this long ball into the middle. You can see them collected all on the far post. Yeah. Andy Lockhead, uh, Clarkie, they're all there waiting. There's, there's no actual penetration at all coming from the Leicester side. You know, if one really wanted... Uh, people to talk about you in 20 years um, I would like them to say that he scored more goals than anybody else it possessed a lot of tension uh, most local derbies do because nobody wants to be beaten by a side that's just down the road it's not good for the, the fans obviously it's not good for the players <laughs> I'll try and be serious next year Saint, if, <laughs> if we are here next year <laughs> Well, that, folks, is how not to abuse your body over 20 years, isn't it? And I thought I hadn't changed. Well, little Barry, your pal, said to me, he thought you'd, you'd won the heaviest sports personality. <laughs> I had. Because Frank Bruno was second. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> but isn't That's it, pathetic. looking back in those pictures, Jim, you were wearing a tie in 1981. I mean, was that the last time you wanted to That was the last tie. tie I ever wore. Um, I've still got it at home, but I usually wear it round my waist now, obviously. It's one of those big kipper ties, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I've decided, as you know, to go casual because it basically hides the flab sign. It suits you, Jim. It suits you. <laughs> Now we look at the European semi-finals, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, Jimmy's been to Milan this week to revisit the club he joined fleetingly in 1960. Well, he certainly picked the right occasion, AC Milan's European Cup semi-final with Real Madrid on Wednesday night. It's nearly 30 years since I came here as a professional footballer for AC Milan, and... Uh, in that time, the city's changed quite a bit. It's become more cosmopolitan. There's certainly many more tourists, but one thing that hasn't changed is the beautiful cathedral and, of course, the city's one great passion, and that's football. So, to get an update on the last 30 years, and uh, of AC Milan in particular, I'm off to visit one of my old muckers of all those years ago, Gianni Rivera. Once I've fed the birds, that is. Gianni. Hello, Jim. Come inside. Ciao. 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 Nice to see you. All the people uh, look at me uh, in, uh, in Milan. They do. Uh, consider me all, always in the Milan, but uh, it's not so. <laughs> it's not uh, true. It's not true. <laughs> Will you be going tonight? To Tonight, to uh, yes, I, uh, I, it's impossible. Uh, yes. Lost. Not, <laughs> not, not In the months I was here at Milan, I used to walk through those gates and always knew that I was going to get fined for being late because no one ever told me what time I had to be here. This is Campo Schuster. And this is the San Siro today, preparing for next year's World Cup, building half a new stadium on top of the original one. A real feat of engineering when you consider that AC and Inter still play there every week. All this happening hours beforehand. The arrival of Real Madrid. Plenty of media attention there with Butragueño being sorted out and collared for an interview. 
Here they are, AC Milan and Marco Van Basten. Two minutes into the game and one of the most moving experiences witnessed at a football ground. Good play by Hullet. Ancelotti, Maldini started to go to his left and then checked. Ancelotti shot. Oh! Carlo Ancelotti with delight and I would think considerable surprise. Buyo just flapped at it and it went into the middle of the goal. Tassotti, right out is there. Tassotti floated it in, and those defensive shortcomings for Real Madrid there for all to see because Frank Rijkaard planted the header into the corner. Adoni. Don Adoni teased away, and Sanchez couldn't stop him getting the cross in. Pullet was first to move as Milan have been really throughout. Maldini. Good touch by Van Basten, very sure in his work, although he's not yet on the score sheet. The other two Dutchmen are. Rijkaard, Paulette, here's Van Basten, he's scored now. With great appreciation of where his teammate and fellow countryman was, and the shot was a stunner into the roof of the net. Corner work short. this time oh, and lifted nonchalantly away from Schuster by Van Basten it's an ambitious pass for Verdes who was trying to flick the header on and it will reach Ancelotti it shouldn't have done but it has Rijkaard that's it the end of a memorable and what must be one of the greatest performances ever in the competition, with five players on the score sheet. I think we have played better this season, but uh, uh, this evening we were very uh, concentrated uh, to get to get to the goal, and we have played very good in uh, in, go uh, in scoring goals, and that and that's very important. I think I played I played rather good, and I'm. Um, I'm satisfied, but uh, yeah, it, it, football is a team sport, it's not a sport individually, but uh, I, I can say I'm very satisfied. One of the great goals was the combination with you and Hulet. Yes, and also Rijkaard. And Rijkaard. Yes, so it was a Dutch combination. It was a Dutch combination. Yes. Practice many times or just... Just no, that's, oh. I think that's, uh, that's football. Uh, sometimes happens uh, such a things, but uh, yeah, when you demonstrate such things, it's nice to see and it's nice also to, to do the things. The last word from the club president. And to Barcelona triumphant? No, no. Barcelona speriamo per una buona partita. Per fare una buona giocata, un buon spettacolo. A big show. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Well, hello. The St. Greaves Show comes to you from New York today. 
Uh, as you know, the World Cup draw is being made tomorrow, and we're here to find out if the Americans are ready for it, Jim. Are they ready for us? <laughs> well, don't go about that. Is this not fantastic? The old skyline nice, of Manhattan. Very nice. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Nice isn't that one? I was here going way back 1964. We played here uh, with Liverpool. Yeah, you were here when the Indians still owned it, so <laughs> tell the truth. Where were you here last? Uh, last playing, playing. Playing 1970. Yeah. For West Ham, got substituted at half time. <laughs> there you go, that's life. Well, look, well, well we're up here in the. Uh, the, it would be a bit cold, it would be a bit parky here, Jim, in New York. Rosenthal is down in Tampa. I oh, know, that rosy, good load of. <laughs> Are the New Yorkers aware that the World Cup is going to take place here? Well, we went onto the streets to find out just how much they know about it. The World Cup's tennis uh, matches. It's a uh, boat race, right? I think Australia had it one time, you know, and America managed to get it back. I don't know. World Cup is? What's the World yeah. Cup is? The World Cup is tennis, is it? Nearly. Uh, Golf? World Cup? Yeah. Oh, soccer, yeah. yeah. Yes, it's the soccer match. Yes. The World Cup is soccer, right? The World Cup is a competition where the country hosting the next finals won't win it. Uh, if it's not tennis and golf... The World War? The World Cup. No. The World Cup? Yeah. No, no. You got me. What is it? Soccer. Soccer? Oh, That's what yeah. I was going to say, and I couldn't oh, think yeah, of it. Oh, yeah, soccer. Yeah, well, okay. Well, I know in Europe they play a lot yeah, of soccer. that's your game. Especially in Poland. Well, I ask him, it would appear that the American public don't really know that the World Cup is going to take place here. <laughs> it looks that way, doesn't it, mate? But here we are with the draw here. There won't be too many yanks about by the sounds of it, but there you are. Madison Square Garden, you Madison know, the scene Square of a, Garden. so many great fights. Well, in yeah. the draw tomorrow, of course, there's a... 140 odd teams. I know. Isn't it? Here we are in Trump Tower. Yeah, would you lovely. believe? Lovely, beautiful, isn't it? I'll tell you what. I wonder if old Donald would help us with the draw of the next round of the Rumbelows. What do you think? You must be joking. How will he? How will he help us to do the draw for the Rumbelows? You can I ask him. Well, you ask him. He'll never do All it. All right. Okay. I bet we can do it. We now come to the draw for the fifth round of the Rumbelows League Cup. Assisting me with the draw are Jimmy Greaves, who will draw the home team, and Donald Trump, who will draw the away team. Hey, I told you, didn't I? I, I told you. I told don't you. know how you managed it. Donald, you, very you pleased know, to meet you, nice sir. Nice meeting you. Well done, Donald. Thank you. This is some pad you've got here, isn't it? Well, it's pretty good. I hope you enjoy it. Trump oh, Tower, I like is, it. This is beautiful, I'll tell you. Well, I haven't seen a ballroom like this since I was in Doug Ellis's at Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> carry on. Yeah. Right, carry on right. with the draw. OK. Uh, Jimmy? I'll draw the home teams. That's right, Correct. David, isn't it? Number four. Tottenham Hotspur. OK. Number seven. We'll play Norwich City. Mm. Okay. Right. Number three. Swindon Town or Crystal Palace. Number eight. We'll play Nottingham Forest or Southampton. Oh, well, well. Number two. Peterborough United. Oh, oh well done, Jim. That's a good one for them. Be pleased with that, Peterborough. Number one. We'll play Middlesbrough. Oh, interesting. Only two left. Number five. Leeds United. Against number six. We'll play Manchester United. Oh, oh, Donald. You don't realise what you've done there. That's a biggie. That I'll sounds tell you like what. the game I want to go to. That, oh, absolutely. That, that gentleman concludes the draw. The ties will be played on the week commencing the 6th of January. OK, let's recap on the draw. There we have Spurs against Norwich City. Swindon or Crystal Palace will play Nottingham Forest or Southampton. Peterborough will play Middlesbrough. And Leeds United will play Manchester United. I'll tell you That's what. last year's semi-final, It Jim. is last year's semi-final. I'll tell you what, Donald. Uh, are you thinking of opening a store in England? Well, I think we're going to maybe go over there and watch a couple uh, of these games. Well, take, <laughs> take my advice. You can open one in Leeds, but don't go to Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play football at all? Well, I used to play, and we call it here soccer. Uh, that's right. It's never, uh, it's never worked out as well in the United States as it has elsewhere. But 
Uh, although we're having the World Cup pretty soon coming to the United States, so that should be great. But it's a great game. I love soccer. I played actually in high school. I played soccer. So, you, so you know what it's all about. Oh, then. I love it. It's a great, it's a great game. Will, will you do anything with regards to the World Cup? Will you take part at all? I or? don't know. I mean, other than the advertising and the other things, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it catches on now in the United States. And yeah. uh, you know, when you look at England and other countries, it's so big. It's so incredibly big. But in the United States, it hadn't really caught on until now. And it's starting. It's really starting. In fact, I see where the women, United States women, right. won the World Cup for women. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that is great. Well, look, we've got something to give to you. Well, this you. actually is the Saint and Greavesy mug. Well, this is you. the most prestigious award in football in history. <laughs> yeah. And when you pour your hot coffee in it, it's, got, it's a funny old game. There, Sounds good see? to me. And Sounds we'd love you to me. have it. Thank you very Thank much. you very much indeed. President Bush or Frank Sinatra haven't got one of those. Very good. So I'll, I'll tell them. Indeed. That. Have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, luck. Yes. good luck with the games. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Well, Jim, they've got wonderful stadiums all over America. This one here behind us, the Giant Stadium in New Jersey, is one of the proposed uh, venues, Jimmy, for the, the World Cup. It's a lovely stadium. Uh, very impressive it is, too, Ian. Uh, and the weather's right, of course, for football, isn't it? <laughs> Parking. Of course, they've got uh, plastic down here. That's right, the and old AstroTurf, yeah. So we'll have to go in and find out what they'll do when the World Cup well, starts. They've got a fantastic scheme, apparently. Let's well, go and have a look. OK. Well, I'll tell you what, James, it's very impressive, isn't it? It's a good stadium, isn't it? I'll tell you what it is, it's a wonderful football stadium because of the... You're looking right down on everybody, aren't you? It would make, uh, yes, it would make a good football stadium. So. You know, a soccer no, stadium, as they say No here. question about that. Uh, but you're right. Can you imagine the atmosphere? Well, we get all the big stars on this show. Donald Trump and now Matt Barr. Matt, you're the kicker for the Giants, aren't you? Well, they let me. Uh, it's, it's fun, but... Uh... It's one week at a time. You miss a field goal and very easily get fired. Yeah, I know, I know the feeling, <laughs> mate. I think that's happened to all of us. Tell us, you've got an interesting soccer story, though, haven't you? I don't know if it's uh, interesting to the crowd in England. Uh, it will be. <laughs> Tell them. Go on, you go well, I come from a soccer background. Uh, my father played on the infamous U.S. team, uh, the 1950 World Cup team, and my dad had the assist on the goal. So he actually assisted in the goal that beat England 1-0 yeah. in Brazil. I'm kind of proud of it, but I think it could get me hung over there. So. I'll, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you could be right as well. There'll be, there'll be a few memories jogged on that game. Tell me, you've got a soccer background yourself, yeah? Yes, I played all my life. Uh, if it wasn't for football, I wouldn't have been playing soccer. Or if it wasn't for soccer, I wouldn't have been playing, be playing football. football. I played soccer all my life. I played two years of pro soccer. I uh, played in the old NASL with the Cosmos. Uh, got the pleasure to play against guys like Georgie Bass and Stevie Hunt, Pat That's... McMahon from Scotland. So you've kicked a few in your time. And been kicked. <laughs> and been kicked. What, what position did you play? I was a journeyman back by that time, uh, forward through high school, midfielder in college, and then uh, back in the pros. And I figured if I stayed much longer, I'd be a photographer behind the net. So it was time to move on. So you went into this game? Sure. Now, uh, we're talking here, obviously, American football, which is the great national sport here. What about the World Cup? I mean, obviously, you know about it. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I was in Italy uh, for the last World Cup and then 94 it's going to be here and hopefully they're going to have some games in this stadium. That's right, they're hoping to raise the stadium, aren't they? They're going to make a platform that's about 10 feet high and put dirt and grass on top of it and they need to have it in this city, they need to have it in this area. You feel they need to have it Absolutely. Here. And do you think it will get well supported? I think it will. Oh, uh, I think the, just the U.S. national team has been getting crowds of 40, 50, yeah. 60,000. Uh, Ireland came to Boston and they got uh, 40, 45, 50,000 at that game. Great game. Matt, good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you. Thanks for speaking to us, mate. All the best. Cheers. What we've found out since being here, all the information we've got, Jim, it'll be a great World Cup. I think it'll be great for the fans, great for the players. I think everything will go smooth as silk. I think so. I think you're right. What are you doing? I'm going to find out how long it is to the airport, mate. Hello? Can you tell me how long it is to the airport? 
Thank you very much. Thank you. 10 minutes for the front, 15 minutes for the back. Ha, 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 ha.